Tonight, communities across the country and right here in our area gathered for National Night Out. They gather with police for a common goal to help prevent crime and make some new friends along the way. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us the strong turnout at events in our region. National Night Out is back after a missed year due to COVID. A good crowd showed up in Lexington and then also here in Franklin County, where the sheriff says events like this play a big role in their strategy. Uh, we need the community and we need their support in what we do and certainly want them to know that we're here for them and the law enforcement and safety aspect of our community. Departments in Bedford and Vinton also participated this year in the annual events held across the country. Nine different events took place in Roanoke where Mayor Sherman Lee says it's good to get the FaceTime. To familiarize the citizens with our law enforcement, that they come out and to talk to each other, to network, to meet the neighbors. Let's find out about things that's going on in our communities. Roanoke Police Chief Sam Roman and City Manager Bob Cowell also hit the streets to play games and break bread with residents. Much of the focus is on preventing small, nonviolent crime. But police say this can help prevent larger crimes too. A lot of our gun crimes come from, from firearms stolen from vehicles. Um, so we always ask you to lock your vehicles. Community leaders know that problems won't be solved overnight, but they say they're glad these kind of events are back because every little bit counts. You know, I think people know each other and I like the fact that their officers are reaching out and uh, everybody has a friendly face on, and that's a good thing. Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. Roanoke City leaders were happy to add two new neighborhood associations in recent months, with both having events tonight.